Hello fellow makers, today is episode 161, big dispenser, and what we're gonna do today is take the scotch dispenser principle and apply it to a big scotch tape and many tapes. Let's go! Having a tape dispenser is awesome, but if you have big scotch tape and many many rolls of tape, I'm gonna try to come up with something. We begin with some aluminium tubing salvaged from another project and two wooden boards. Okay, I cheated a little bit because the two plywood boards were cut before, but you'll get the idea in a moment. Three screws per board and I can screw them to my makeshift working table. I drop my aluminium tubing in the groove and that's it, I have the first part of my giant tape dispenser. To transform this into a real tape dispenser, I begin by measuring the distance between the two boards. 93 cm or a bit more than 36 inches. The plywood I got is only 20 inch in length, so I will have to improvise. I'll mark two sections of 2 inches wide with my spit square. For once, I will try to make less of a mess by using my amazing tiny bandsaw from Le Mans. I don't own a shop vac, so I'll use my regular vacuum and with a little bit of this gorgeous pink duct tape, I'm sure I will be able to connect both the bandsaw and the vacuum cleaner. And for once, I will try to follow my own recommendation and wear a respirator and some ear protections. I use my bandsaw to cut the two strips of plywood. I'm trying to follow the pencil line as closely as possible. I'm going to try to join the two strips of plywood, so I trace on both boards the length and depth of cut I'm trying to make. I readjust the 8 of the benzo protection to cut both strips of plywood in the 8 direction. Kind of difficult cut, especially for me. I'm really not used to this, but it's a good practice. To make the other cut, I do it with my crappy hand saw and try to adjust all this as good as I can. I readjust the bad spots with files. Here my goal is not to be perfect, but just good enough so that the two parts fit and that way I'll be able to reconstruct a longer board from one post to the other. A little bit of glue, I clamp it and let it dry. I trace the length I need. Really difficult to hold this long piece of wood. I would love to have a third hand. And I make the cut to the appropriate length. I use a scrap to mark the width of the board and make two holes on each end.
a little taper to make the screw flush with the surface and the board is ready to be attached. As a reference, I take my biggest tape, my big roll of sandpaper. I try to fix my board with a clamp, but it's a massive fail. So I use my last result tool, which works every time, duct tape. I pre-drill holes to prevent splitting the board and screw the plywood pieces into place. I place an aluminum bar to trace the right length. The idea here is to cut it and form it to be the tape dispenser super lengthy blade. I mark and cut it and will try to transform it, but first I have to clean up a little bit my workbench. Now that my workbench is kind of clean, I'm going to try to grind the aluminum bar with a rotary tool. And to be clear, it's kind of impossible. Even if aluminum is softer than steel, in my working condition it would have taken me hours to shape this aluminum bar. So let's find something else instead. So I go back to the old method of using a steel saw blade and screwing it up to the frame. It worked before, so I'm sure it will do for this. So I screw the two saw blades I have on hand and works perfectly. After finishing to hang all the scotch tapes I have, I can test my mega big tape dispenser and it works like a charm. It's ugly but super useful to have all scotch tapes on hand on my workbench. I just love it. So we've managed to build a really big Scotch dispenser with a building, I don't know how to call it, like cutting thingy, and it works. It was not as planned because of the aluminum bar, but it works. So we just adapt and we make it work. If you have any questions, any, any insult, don't hesitate to send me a mail, contact me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, to put some comments and to subscribe. I put out each week one video and now it's in English. Ooh. That's all for today. I really, really like my new giant tape dispenser and I'm gonna use it every day. I hope you liked the video and don't forget, get inspired and make things. Bye.